Welcome to another session of Basic Fundamentals. Today we shall recall another concept of sentences that is kinds of sentences. So under kinds of sentences there are four kinds of sentences. We'll just recall the first one assertive sentence. Assertion Assertive sentence is nothing but it asserts something or does a statement. So, it makes an assertion or a strong statement. So, these type of sentences, they begin or start with a noun or pronoun. For example, we had great fun at the party. We is a pronoun. And it ends with a full stop. It is a complete statement. Tommy is a naughty boy. Tommy is a naughty boy. Tommy here is a noun. So it begins with a noun. And we end it with a full stop. Manu does not swim. Manu is a noun. This is how assertive sentence asserts or it is a strong statement. Assertive sentence are of two types. Affirmative and negative. Affirmative is nothing but positive sentence. Suhas is playing. It tells something positive. Suhas is playing. And negative sentence comments something negative. Suhas is not playing. Not tells about a negative action. So, in negative sentence, we use not, never, no, seldom, few, which will be discussed after this session. She is an excellent cook. So, this is a positive statement. It is telling she cooks well. So, this becomes a positive statement. She never cooks. Tells about the negativeness about her cooking. So, it is a negative word. Never is a negative word. The next kind of sentence is imperative sentence. So, imperative sentence expresses a command, order, advice, suggestion, or a request. Example, please let me go. So, imperative sentences begin with a main verb. They begin with a main action verb. Well, please tells about a request. At attack the enemy. Attack is a main verb. Okay, so here it begins with the main verb. Take off your sandals. Take off again is a main verb or an action word. So every imperative sentence begin with the action word. Well, the next one is interrogative sentence. So interrogative sentence is used to ask questions or make queries. Well, so we use such type of questions whenever we have queries or whenever we want to question somebody. So we, we use auxiliary verbs which gives the answer in S uh, or no type. Auxiliary verbs which gives the answer in S or no type. Then we have WH or how words which gives the answer in information type. So what are these auxiliary verbs? Auxiliary verbs are also helping verbs. Questions which begin with the auxiliary verbs give the answer in yes or no type. Are you going to the party? Are is 
a helping word. You can answer it either yes or no. Have the apples gone back? Have is an auxiliary verb and the answer could be yes or no. Did you see the dentist? Did. He is again an auxiliary verb and the answer may be yes or no. So such type of questions which begin with a helping verb okay, are also the questions which give the answer in yes or no time. Next we see WH or how words. So these are WH words like which, what, when, where, whom, whose, how. Okay. So all such, such words which begin with WH okay, are the WH words. And when such type of words are used to question, you get the answer in a lengthy information. So they are information type answers. Well, which fruit is more tasty? You have to answer the name of a fruit and tell whether it is tasty or not. So that gives a complete information. Next, how did you reach the office? So again, you'll be giving an explanation. So here we see the words beginning with WH, how and again, who, WH word. Who was at the door? So you will again give an explanation. So such type of questions which begin with WH words give us answer and information type. So these are the interrogative sentences. The last one is exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence exclaims or expresses strong emotions. So it may be sorrow, suffering, regret or excited joy. Such expressions come out with a interjunction words. Okay, so these are the interjunction words which we use in the exclamatory sentence. So interjunctions will be discussed when we start with the parts of speech. Well, hooray! Nitu has won. So that's a strong emotional feeling of joy. Alas, something to lose. I am undone. So, expression of sorrow. Oh, what a fool he is. Something of regression. What a beautiful butterfly it is. So, expression of joy or appreciation. So, such type of sentences are called exclamatory sentences. Now, let us recall formation of negative sentences from affirmative sentence. Certain rules to be followed when helping verbs are used as main verbs in a sentence. This is how we can form them into a negative sentence. I have a car. So, this tells about a affirmative sentence to be changed into a negative sentence. It is very simple. I do not have a car. The next one. He has a new bike. He does not. Have a new bike. Ravi had breakfast. Ravi did not have breakfast.
Next we see helping verbs with the main verbs. I have done my homework. Have is helping the main verb done. So it becomes a helping verb with the main verb. I have done my homework. So how to make it a negative sentence? I have not done my homework. So you take the negative word in between the helping verb and the main verb. Next, it may rain today. May, helping verb with rain. So rain is playing the role of a main verb. It may rain today. The answer will be into negative sentence. It may not rain today. The next one. You should watch this movie. Should is a helping verb. Watch becomes a main verb. You should watch this movie is made into a negative sentence by adding not in between. You should not watch. This movie not is placed in between the helping verb and the main verb. I am keeping well. I am is a helping verb. Keeping becomes a main verb. Into negative sentence, I am not keeping So here we see the negative word placed in between the helping verb and the main verb. The next we see main verbs as action word. In the third form we see main verbs playing the role of action. So main verbs as action words. Well, the sentence here is she works hard. So works is a main verb. So how do you make it into a negative sentence? We make it into a negative sentence using the helping verb do. She does not work hard. Does not changes the affirmative into negative. The flowers look fresh. The flowers look fresh. Into negative form, your look becomes a main verb. The flowers do not look fresh. Do not makes it a negative sentence. They lost the Game. Lost is a main verb. They did not lose the game. Did not makes it a negative sentence. The next one. Interrogative sentences 
made as negative sentences. Here in the question form and in the same question form, we should change the affirmative interrogative into negative interrogative. Does she know you? So, it can be changed this way. Does she not know you? To make it short, instead of does she not, you can write as doesn't she know you it can be made short as doesn't she know you next do you know his name it can be do you not know his name. The other way it can be written or made short as Don't you know his name? you know his name. Should we go home? Should we not go home? Can also be made short as shouldn't we Go home. Well, the next one. Must we start early? Must we not start early? Can we can be made short as mustn't we Start early. Okay. Have you read the novel? To be made short, haven't you read the novel? The last one, did she help you? Did not she help you can be made short as didn't she help you the next one is imperative sentence made as negative sentence we all know Imperative sentence begin with a main verb. Call her in. Call is a main verb. So we change it into negative using a do helping verb. Do not can be made short as 
डोंट कॉल हर इन शट द डोर शट इज अ मेन वर्क डू नॉट कैन बी मेड शॉर्ट डोंट शट द डोर वेट फॉर मी डायरेक्टली डोंट वेट फॉर मी दिस इज हाउ वी यूज द डू वर्क टू मेक इट इन टू अर नेगेटिव सेंटेंस सो डू नॉट कैन बी मेड शॉर्ट एज डोंट नेक्स्ट वन इज मिसलेनियस सो वी जस्ट यूज फ्यू नेगेटिव वर्ड्स टू चेंज दम इन टू नेगेटिव सेंटेंस somebody has done it you can make it a negative word like somebody is changed into nobody nobody has done it becomes a negative sentence i have to say something something i have to say something something can be made negative i have to say nothing and it becomes a negative sentence something is changed into nothing anybody can do it anybody made negative nobody can do it she is fit for this post make fit as a negative word she is unfit for the post so the word unfit makes the sentence a negative sentence he always helps the poor always can be made a negative sentence when it is changed into he never helps the poor next either you or i have done this work can be made negative using neither you nor i have done this work
because it is in a positive word. We are unhappy by his presence. When happy is prefixed with un, it becomes a negative word and makes the sentence a negative sentence. Her cupboard was neat and tidy. So here neat and tidy tells that the sentence is a positive sentence. But when we prefix un to tidy, it makes the word negative and the sentence becomes negative. His house was small and untidy. Is a negative word. Next, negative words like nothing, nobody, seldom, never, nowhere, few, when used in sentence, makes the sentence a negative sentence. I remember those days with nothing but the light used in a negative form. There was nobody from her side. Nobody used in a negative form. Her. He seldom visits his parents. Seldom in negative form. She never scolds her children. Never again used in a negative form. My dog was nowhere to be seen. Nowhere is a negative word used in the sentence. Only few knew his art. Few used as a negative word. So this is how we learn the formation of negative sentences from affirmatives. Next we see negative sentences are changed or transformed into affirmative sentences. For example, there is no gain without pain can be made into an affirmation sentence by writing every gain has pain. Right? She is not as weak as her sister can be changed into affirmative using the words she is stronger than her sister. So today we have learnt about kinds of sentences and transformation of negative sentence into affirmative sentences. Thank you.